Oh man, this comes with two batteries. No, it doesn't. Ha ha ha, just kidding. That's empty. Much like a lot of things you'd rather have and not need in your house, an angle grinder is one of them. Let's get this thing open. Now I purchased this myself with my own money. This was not sent to me. Flex does not sponsor me, they never have. Flex has never reached out to me. I just really like the tools. There's our guard. Here's the grinder, the tool itself. And for a flex tool, it is very skinny and not overly heavy. Oh man, this comes with two batteries. No, it doesn't. Ha ha ha, just kidding. That's empty. Okay. We got one 5.0 battery. That's it in the box. Let's get you guys the specs real quick. We have the wheel diameter is four and a half to five inches. The no load speed is variable. 3,500, 5,000, 7,000, and 10,000. The arbor size is 5 eighths. Without the battery, the tool is 4.2 pounds. Uh, this is what they're calling the Mango Shock Shield. All right, so you can see what this handle flexes. It's a really nice feature and absorbs a lot of the shock. Up close, movable. That's a little filter there. They clip in just like that. And they are on both sides of the tool. That's your wheel lock button right there. Push that in, locks the motor, and lets you get this tight. Now, of course, we're not going to use this without the blade guard. I just wanted to give you guys a full view before I put this guard on, on what it looked like. And it's very easy to get this guard wherever you want it. There's not even a push button that you have to disengage to roll it wherever you want to. Just rotate one click and it's back on there. There you go, you heard a click. Feel it click, it's got a large click, there you go. And now it can come off. The handle can go either on the left side or the right side that vibration in that handle right there. It's designed to kind of pivot. Turn it on, flip this up here, and pull the trigger. So 35, 5, 7, and 10 thousand RPM. Here we go, 35. One of these lags, and then we're actually going to cut some tools. What I can tell you is this thing does not bog down. I've been letting the tool do the work. I'm gonna see if we can really just go for broke here. Very similar cutting wheel. I'm not going to bother to change these wheels, guys. Um, this is a very old brushed Milwaukee. Let me show you how far the technology has come. I don't even know what the results of this are going to be. But my guess is going to be that I can bog this down. That's going to be my thought. I think I can bog this down. Let's try again.
All right, so we know the Milwaukee can get it done, brushed at that, the very first one they ever made. But let's see what the flex can do. Let's see if we can bog it down. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, it's, it's very capable. Yeah, as always, don't do what you see on this channel, ever. Uh, this probably wasn't that extreme of a test. Um, I've seen a lot worse done on the job site with an angle grinder. This was fairly mild. We were fairly safe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As you can see, the Milwaukee here is still very capable. This is still a very capable tool. There's nothing wrong with this tool. Um, it still gets the job done as a homeowner. It is absolutely plenty any of these angle grinders that you get nowadays are capable of doing anything you want This was very smooth. I didn't feel very much vibration at all. The settings are really nice It feels like a really safe tool. It was a pleasure to use Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one